music. Um, yes, music's thought experiment is designed to show that allegedly we care about other things than pleasure. Uh, uh, how compelling is it? Um, well, let's just uh, I I examine it. Uh, imagine an experience machine, a so-called experience machine, and uh, you have the opportunity to plug into this device that enables you to have anything you want. You can be uh, a, Nobel, a double Nobel laureate, you can have uh, the lovers of your dreams, uh, lit, you know, unimaginable riches, fantastic love life. Uh, you could have the perfect paradise, your, your perfect conception of paradise. Uh, and Nozick asked us to imagine, would you plug into such a machine? Uh, and in spite of the opportunity to have everything one allegedly want, wants, most people, statistically apparently, will say no, because it wouldn't be real. Um, and this allegedly shows that there are more important things than pleasure. Um, whether the experiment proves what it's supposed to is controversial. Um, for example, Felipe de, de Brigard came up with the so-called inverse experience machine argument. Uh, imagine if you were to learn that everything that you thought was real, your, uh, your family, your friends, your career, your identity, was based on a lie. Would you want to unplug from an experience machine and learn the truth? And allegedly, most people say no, uh, suggesting that what really is at stake here is status quo bias. Uh, uh, people uh, are loath uh, 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 to uh, undergo any form of radical change. Um, what I would say in response really is that we don't actually need to choose between gritty realism and an escapist fantasy world. Uh, that revolution in biotechnology means uh, that it would be possible to recalibrate the hedonic treadmill. And this is a lot more exciting than it sounds for two reasons. One is that if your hedonic set point is much higher than it is today, uh, then your quality of life will be immeasurably improved too. You will enjoy everything that you find rewarding and significant to a much higher degree. Um, but, and this is important too, radical recalibration of the hedonic treadmill, i.e. your normal default hedonic set point, doesn't involve sacrificing any of your preferences and values. Uh, to use a trivial example, you can continue to support your favourite football team, you can enjoy your favourite uh, piece of music, uh, but nonetheless your default quality of experience can be magical and perhaps even sublime. The other example is, uh, is is the matrix, uh, the red pill or the blue pill. Which which would you which would you prefer? Um, and uh, I would say, well, take 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 the purple pill instead. <laughs> um, reasons to plug in. Um, one of the advantages of phasing out experience below hedonic zero and aiming for life based on gradients of intelligent bliss is that it would be possible safely to explore alien state sta spaces of consciousness. Now of course one can explore these spaces today to some extent but it's very difficult responsibly to advocate uh, the use of psychedelic drugs because our dark Darwinian minds can be taken to some quite terrible places uh, uh, by psychedelics. But once we have mastered the neurobiology of reward and we have ratcheted up hedonic set points and enriched our reward circuitry, we will be able to explore these state spaces. Um, and it may well be there are tens of thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands of state spaces as different from, uh, 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 from existing consensus reality as is, say, a uh, waking life from dreaming. Um, this tiny little sliver of consciousness that 
that, that, that seems to us to be uh, real or authentic is, is just something that evolution has stumbled upon. Um, and this, back to Nozick's experience machine again, um, I think a lot of people are implicitly assuming that th th this notion of, of authenticity, but one of the many advantages of, uh, of as, as some would say, tampering or enriching it or enhancing our biology is this would be possible to give ourselves an enhanced sense of authenticity, of realism, of this is the real me. And it won't simply be the case that transhumans, posthumans, and perhaps even our elderly selves are much happier uh, uh, than today. It may well be that there is a heightened sense of authenticity. Um, I mean, today we sometimes talk about derealization disorder and depersonalization disorder, but even those of us who don't have any such medically defined condition uh, can experience it to some degree, subclinically, some, some of the time. But yes, uh, it, it, imagine uh, a heightened sense, sense of authenticity combined with, with, with a sense of, of sublime well-being. Um, what today is just uh, uh, is a peak experience could one day uh, become just simply part of the texture of everyday life.